You know what time it is. It's pump it up time. All right, guys, uh, another journal entry today. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure I was going to make a video about this because I really don't want to talk about, I don't want the focus of my channel to be like TRT or testosterone or whatever. But um, nowadays, it is a very prevalent topic that most people are pretty open about. And I try to always be open about everything I do. And I always said that any choices that I made should be something that I would be proud of and willing to tell my sons what I would do, right? So if you live your life like that and you know what you're doing, you believe in, it puts you in a little different circumstance than um, than just being selfish, right? So, <clears throat> and you might say, well, how are you not being selfish? No, I kind of am being selfish, uh, but let's let's get back to that in a second. Um, I wanted to make this video because about two weeks ago, I stopped taking my self-regulated TRT, which was um, <clears throat> <coughs> test anethanate, anethate, and anyways, you know, testy, right? Um, I was taking like one cc every four days and um, I really believed that uh, something was going on at first because me and my buddy both got it together and um, we're both working out really hard, both pushing our diets and um, at first I was like, I don't think anything's working here you know and my buddy's like no no it is it is it takes you longer you know you have to get used to it blah 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 you know and then I was like well maybe you know maybe something's going on you know and um it seemed like and, and this is just me right it seemed like my ball shrank at first when I first started taking them so I was like okay yeah it's real and then I was like, um, something does, I don't know. It's not, it's not jiving. You know what I mean? Like I've got no aggression, no acne, no gains. I mean, other than I expect to get in better shape from my diet, uh, which is something that would happen totally natural anyways. And it does. And I've done this before on the channel. So, you know, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to manipulating my weight. But yeah, so I was like, because he has a doctor and he, he's going, and I was like, your doctor say that this is, this is real, that this is, this is working? Because he, he said he was uh, on the up front with his doctor. <clears throat> well... Come to find out, he told me later that he hadn't gotten a test while we were on this. So he didn't know. Uh, because he only gets a test once a month or something like that. And he went into his doctor's appointment late and they were being dicks. And he didn't even, in this month time, get his test, right? So then I'm, I'm like working out legs and I noticed that like my balls slipped in between my shorts and like got caught right while I'm doing legs. And I'm like, ow. And I'm like, motherfucker, which sounds silly, but think about it. Okay. My balls are fucking huge. Right. And at first I was like, put my ball back up. And I'm like, that's weird. Shouldn't really be happening, should it? You know? And then I said something to him, my buddy. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're probably just being paranoid, blah, 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 you know? And um, then it happened again the next time I did legs. And um, so I, I self-examined. And my balls looked fucking huge and i'm like dude 
why are my balls bigger than they were before? As everything I've read, when you go on testosterone, they get smaller. You stop producing your own. <clears throat> and he's like, yeah, something, something's up. I've been thinking that too. And I'm like, ah, okay. So now it's so I'm like, but why did you tell me you thought it, it was real before? And he's like, I, he's like, I didn't know. And he's like, I didn't want to say anything. And he's like, you know, we spent all that money to get it. And he's like, I, I just wanted it to be real. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right, I'm off. So I fucking went off right away. And just in case I went on Clomid and um, when I went on the Clomid, I could, I could feel a physical difference of my testosterone just going through the roof naturally, not naturally using the Clomid, right? But like, I have a very high sex drive for my age anyways. But once I got on the Clomid, which is, you know, like one pill a day, little blue pills. Um, yeah, I'm like, uh, fucking boner 24 seven, which is like for 54, that's pretty good. But like, I was like the type of guy that could have sex with my old lady three times a day. And, um, now it's even worse. Like if there was a rattlesnake in my, uh, area, I'd probably be like, oh, that's a sexy rattlesnake. So yeah. Um. So that's where I am right now with that. I I don't. I, there there's no way I can get, uh, any kind of anything, right? Because that was the the one person that I asked. That was the only person that I knew that always said he could get it, and that's all I know. Nobody at my gym does any steroids that I know of. Uh, if they do, the only people that I know of are my age and they're on actual TRT from the doctors, which is like $160 a shot, right? Which is fucking insane. So I think it's insane. I think it's fucking stupid to be so expensive, right? But... <clears throat> Yeah, so I guess this is kind of a rant because people are always like, what are you on? What are you on? It's like, it's complicated. And I'm trying to be honest. Uh, so, yeah. I know that I, I hate to say this on video for YouTube matters or whatever. I know that like Naps gear and stuff sells shit. Um, but every time I've went... To, um, that's weird. And my camera, it looks like I got a zip, but I don't feel anything. It must be just a red spot from work. Um, every time I've went on there, uh, it's, they're not accepting orders because of the, uh, type of transfers that they do. They, they have so many that they've done and then they can't do any more per day. If you know, I don't want to like edge people to go to certain websites and do bad things. Like say if you're a younger guy, you know, or whatever. But if you're like a 50 year old guy, I mean, you might know better than me. Right. So, but yeah. Um, diet's going great. I'm about 223 pounds. Um, I'm carb cycling. Like I said, in my last video, which I, I prefer, it gives me kind of like a cheat day on the weekend right now or a cheat meal-ish type deal. And then like one day during the week that I have about 80 grams of carbs, like uh, rice, right? So that keeps my metabolism up there so I can keep losing weight and not get like all, um, You know, when people slow down, not not just like their metabolic rate, but their whole sense of how they talk and everything and they get lethargic. That's what I meant. So I need to take. Uh, Kyoba, Ginkgo Kyoba or Ging, 
Ginkgo Bioba. That's a pretty good um, supplement for like getting when you when you talk and you get stuff stuck on the tip of your tongue, it alleviates that. And when you're dieting, you will get that. But I'm not lethargic or anything like that. My energy level is great. I've actually toned down my workouts a bit. I'm doing more more faster pace cardio, <clears throat> burning about 380 calories on the elliptical machine a day, right? And um, doing a shorter workout, like a half hour, 40 minutes. And that's it. Not going twice a day to the gym anymore. I'm doing it in one shot. Saves me on gas money. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to keep... Actually, ugh, I'm going to stay like about this weight for a little wee bit and then drop down. Just because I get scared of dropping too fast and losing muscle. Uh, we'll do a flex check real quick here. So, everything's where I would expect it to be. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to sit here for a little bit. And then I'm going to drop down. I think I'm going to go 205. Seems like a good... Uh, wait for me. I'm 223 right now, 224, 223. I can't remember. Close to that. So I'll drop down to 205. 205, I should be fairly shredded, you know, and hopefully that in the last eight years, I've made a few gains where I actually look better at 200, 205 than I did, you know, before. Because I think uh, on my first diet down on this channel, I went down to 194 pounds. I probably started making videos at like 200 pounds, but then kept drop dropping down to like 194, I think was the lowest I could get down. And that's actually less than I weighed in high school. Because um, I wrestled in high school at... Uh, I think grade nine, I was like 188. Uh, and then I went um, 212 and then unlimited. But the unlimited, I never weighed unlimited. Um, I wrestled in those categories because um, there was less people in those categories. So in Ontario, where I come from, I was able to wrestle in three different categories uh, because we didn't have bigger guys, you know what I mean? And usually bigger guys thought they would win and they always got winded. But um, yeah, so if I was allowed, I, I wrestled in all three categories, but that was like 35 years ago when I was in high school. So, all right, guys, that's my video. Get out there and do something I did.